Have you ever wondered, am I attractive? Am I an attractive human being? Do women find me attractive? And then have you ever wondered the thought, no, I am not. You see, throughout my life, my teenage years and into my adult years, I have been very fortunate enough to have dated a lot of people. And not only that, gotten with a lot of people, gone to a lot of parties and all these people that I was with, I ended up asking what they truly found attractive, what they identified as the attractive qualities of the male species. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to reveal to you all of those things that I've learnt and how you can use them to your advantage. Alright, let's take these uh, glasses off because my eyes, they hurt. Contrast. Contrast is a very, very attractive trait of a man because it's simply interesting. It makes you stand out from the rest. For example, you are in the train station. You're in the train and you see across sat from you a tall, dark haired Asian man who is moderately attractive. You can see he's, you know, he's moderately jacked. He goes to the gym a bit. He's wearing a super nice suit buttons all done up, wearing glasses, reading a book. You look at him and you think, yeah, he's probably got a good job. He's, you know, he's considered, you know, pretty attractive. Yeah. But then when you go out later, that same very night, you go out to the club and you see the bartender is the same guy. However, he looks like a completely different person. He's wearing the same shirt, but he's got a lot less buttons done up. You can actually see a couple tattoos. He's not wearing glasses. His hair's a bit more messed up. However, he now looks incredibly attractive. And it's because of that contrast. Your mind had already created a lot of characteristic traits from what you first initially saw. And then you see that he's got a whole other side to him. It makes him so unbelievably interesting. When I'm working, I work in quite a high-end uh, uh, retail company with clothes that is like suits and stuff really really nice i'm one of the sales assistant managers there i love working there it's great and uh people see me dressed up in suits very nicely but then they see me go out you know it's boiling hot so i'll undo a couple buttons and then i'll then put on a motorcycle helmet and then drive off people don't expect that the contrast makes you interesting it makes you stand out it makes you simply not boring <laughs> the best thing you can do to sort of have this effect is simply live life you cannot have a contrast no matter what if you are the weird antisocial guy who sits inside all day, plays video games all day and does nothing else. Because you can't have a contrast because you simply aren't doing anything else to have a contrast. You want to be able to have a contrast in life that makes you interesting. The best thing to do is just go out and live life. That is the only way. Go out, find a hobby, go do certain things. Simply live life to the fullest and you will eventually end up creating those contrasts just by nature. However, this leads on to my second point, status. Contrast in itself doesn't just work. There are other factors that come into play. For example, if there was a really fat, bold dude who's kind of old, who doesn't take care of his physical health, right? However, he's a super, super genius. Turns out he's an absolute genius and speaks quite posh. That is a contrast, yeah. It does make him unique. It makes him suddenly a bit more interesting. You're like, oh shit, okay. It's not what I expected. However, yeah, I'm still probably not as attractive as the first guy. And that is where it comes in this word known as status. Status is a very important part of life. Whether you want to believe it or not, it is a part of life. Where you sit in the status hierarchy and where you sit financially and who you are as a person. It's a very important part of life. People obviously always say, you know, personality over looks. Obviously, always. However, looks, your status, do play a part. People won't come up to you if you don't look like you participate or you do anything with your life. For example, say there are two gentlemen who have the exact same personality. They're funny, they're charming, they're lovely. However, one guy, super, super skinny, bunch of acne, doesn't take care of his face, doesn't take care of his hair, you know, he doesn't go to the gym at all, he plays games, video games all day, inside, every day, and doesn't do anything else. 
he's not viewing that as a hobby as a way to enjoy the fun aspects of life it's his escape from reality compared to a guy who's well dressed clearly goes to the gym his face and his skin is clear he's got a jawline because he goes to the gym he takes care of his hair he smells nice even if they both had the exact same personality who do you think that women are going to find more attractive obviously the guy who looks like he has a bit more status and that is where status comes into play to actually start leveling up and improving this just level up the three aspects of your life your mental your physical and your financial physical is like your gym you know how you physically look eating healthier going out to the gym more just getting a bit more exercise mental read books about mental health meditate become more grateful in life spend more time in nature actually read on how to make your skin a little bit more clear how to look better that's actually more of the physical part but you know what i mean and then the financial look read books how to actually make a business how to make money or level up and start getting a high-end job all of these not only make you a more interesting respectable person but it makes you more attractive it makes you unique it makes you interesting it makes you stand out and you clearly have status and that leads on to my final point don't be fucking boring that's pretty much something that i've been implementing throughout this whole video which you probably got don't be boring that is by far the most interesting attractive quality of a man someone who isn't boring who can be playful who can tease you a little bit someone who isn't just like a fucking plank book girls on a first date they do not enjoy you asking these interview-esque kind of questions oh how was your day today oh what job do you work at what are your aspirations in your job life like th those boring ass like questions you know tease them a little bit you know it's super super hot right now in uh in henley and in like england right it's super super hot you know you're on a date with this girl you're on a coffee shop and she's sweating like whoa what the fuck have you been sweating for you're just that nervous to meet me or you've just been running or something oh i see you're burning the calories before we meet oh i see i see like being able to tease a little bit not obviously to the point where you're a dick but just playful banter right this makes you interesting girls by far find a guy who is funny who is confident who is able to take a joke and make a joke way more attractive than a boring guy who doesn't know how to talk and only knows how to ask interviewers questions where right? it's as if you're in an interview literally the best thing to do in situations just go with whatever your mind comes up with man just say what comes to mind don't overthink what you say and literally just aim to be a little bit more playful instead of so boring this is by far one of the best things and it's probably the best things out of these three because you can have contrast you can have status as well but if you're boring it's very hard to enjoy your company because it's it's boring <laughs> this is what i've learned from all the people that i've met over the years but obviously everyone is different this is what i basically learned from a lot a lot of different people but everyone is different ultimately though i do hope that this has helped you out and i would be appreciative if you clicked on the video in the corner because maybe this video can help you out too and subscribe if you want to see more content like this stay consistent and don't give up oh my god my eye is so is red it's hay fever, okay? It's not anything else. I don't know what else it would be. Okay. <laughs> Alright, some improving us. Alright. Well.